My name's Catherine Hemingway and I'm the programme leader for the Top Up degree um, in veterinary nursing. We run the Top Up degree between the College of Normal Welfare and Middlesex University. The purpose of the programme is to enable registered veterinary nurses um, who qualifies either by the level 3 diploma route um, or equivalent for a foundation degree and it gives them the opportunity to top up their qualification to a BSc um, honours qualification in veterinary nursing. So we offer two modes of study on the course, so you can study on the course full time which will take you two years or part time that would take you four years. The programme is being delivered entirely online which means students of the programme are able to study from wherever they're located um, within the UK or indeed abroad. Um, we'll be using a mixture of um, delivery styles, so some sessions will be delivered live um, in like a virtual classroom um, and other times we'll be teaching what we call asynchronously. So there'll be learning activities uh, for you to complete online at a time that's sort of convenient for you within that um, week of activity. We based it solely on the opinions um, of previous students and also uh, veterinary nurses working out in the sector at the moment. So we asked you what you wanted um, and you've said <laughs> that you'd like modules on medical veterinary nursing, so we've got that, uh, surgical veterinary nursing as well, um, anaesthesia and emergency and critical care, so that's all, all in there for you. Um, we've also got a couple of modules, one on evidence-based veterinary nursing, which is really important nowadays. That's been incorporated into day one skills and competencies, um, along with the Code of Professional Conduct as well. And that underpins all of our modules, so our students are able to take an evidence-based approach across the entire programme. Um, we've also got a really nice little module called Veterinary Nursing Futures, um, <coughs> which will explore exactly that. So we'll look back at um, how the veterinary nursing profession has got to where it is today and where it might go in the future. Um, and in the final year, students will also be able to put all of those evidence-based nursing skills into practice and complete a quality improvement project. We've got a range of a different uh, assessment methods on the course. Um, good news, I hope, for everybody, there are no exams, so um, I'm sure everyone will be pleased about that. Um, but we've got lots of different ranges um, of coursework that we're using. So there'll be written coursework and, and there'll be presentations, uh, reflective pieces, case studies, um, and lots of sort of different coursework options. Our students undertake this course for a variety um, of reasons. Somewhat the personal satisfaction of, of achieving a degree, so studying at uh, BSc on this level and achieving that. Um, but it's useful for lots of other reasons as well. So a number of our students are undertaking this course so they can um, advance their career options. So for example, if you want to go into teaching, um, to teach at a university you need to be educated to a um, degree level. Um, or if you want to take your professional development further, for example, studying for master's degrees, perhaps um, this would be a stepping stone to um, have a use like that as well. Using funding information, the most up-to-date information is all on Middlesex University's website. Um, students may well be eligible to apply for funding uh, through Student Finance England. It's really easy to enrol in the course. You can either apply um, through UCAS, and you can find the, the course on UCAS, or you can apply uh, directly to the university. There's a link on our course page.